Sam the people. Uh, little UFC 109 pulse fight. A uh, fight I thought was kind of comical it was uh, Joey Beltran versus uh, Holus Gracie. Definitely by far the worst Gracie I've ever seen. By far. This guy had, had no idea what he was doing. Uh, went for takedowns, like, all the way hunched over with his head first running in. I mean, not even a diving attack. I mean, nothing. It, it was ridiculous looking. And uh, Joey Beltran had an easy, easy win. Excuse me, knockout win. Uh, Melvin Gillard looked really, really good tonight, man. Melvin Gillard's been in some, uh, he's been uh, teamed up with uh, Greg Jackson, which is a nice move. Took on uh, Hanis Torres. I don't know, man, much too crafty for him tonight. Melvin Gillard has definitely got a uh, much better uh, game these days, man, for sure. Uh, Mac Danzig took on uh, Justin Buckles. I mean, it didn't make for that great of a fight, but uh, one thing I thought was kind of funny about this fight was, uh, it was a UFC fight night, one of the fight nights, 21 maybe. Uh, John Jones took on Matt Hamill. Was doing these north south elbows when he was on top of Matt Hamill. And either at the end of the round or the end of the fight, he got he got disqualified for that. But Mac Danzig did the same thing to Justin in this fight. But they didn't. The ref just kind of waved him off, don't do that, you know, whatever, and they didn't disqualify him. I thought that was kind of bullshit, but Matt Danzig took, took away the win. Um, Matt Sarah versus Frank Trigg. You know, and, uh, Matt Sarah took an easy, easy uh, knockout win, you know. Uh, Frank Trigg is, I think, now is going to be cut. He's coming off two knockout losses. He's, I think, it was already questionable bringing him back. But uh, uh, Mike Swick, Paulo Tiago, a couple guys on the on my uh, pre-fight were kind of saying, "Hey, you know, uh, Mike Swick's going to knock him out." But uh, as soon as Paulo Tiago caught him with that good shot, you know, and they they went down to the ground, Swick grabs a hold of him, you know, with kind of his arm around him. Tiago uses that uh, uses that arm. Totally, uh, and, and puts in a darts choke, finishes him off. I mean, picture perfect darts choke. And I mean, I swear, it was like six seconds, man. Swick was out. I mean, out, sleeping. So nice, really, really nice Brazilian Jiu Jitsu uh, darts choke win for Paul Diego, man. And that guy's got bombs in his hands, man. He, he, he really improved on his uh, stand up, too. Because he knew coming into this one with, with Swick that you know, there's going to be some fighting, you know, some, some stand up fighting going. So uh, I couldn't call it much of a fight. Uh, Nate Marquardt didn't bother to show up. Um, Oh, shout out to uh, Slim0221. Totally called this fight, bro. Totally. I didn't see this coming. Jail Sonnen completely freaking schooled Nate Marquardt. In my opinion, Nate Marquardt completely overlooked Jail Sonnen. Came in with no game plan. Prob I, In my opinion, probably didn't train as he, as he should have. And and paid, paid the price, man. Jail Sonnen whipped his ass the whole time. Jail Sonnen just took him down whenever he wanted, basically. Uh, Nate Marquardt had no answer for, for him being on top. It, it, it didn't, wasn't able to do anything. No game whatsoever. Man. He came up with zero game plan, looked for a couple of, looked for a couple of uh, punching opportunities, you know, to, to put him out with one punch. No, dude, he ain't no Damian Maya. You're not going to catch everybody with that, man. Knock it off, you know. Kind of kind of actually pissed me off when he came out like this, you know, in such a uh, important fight after this. Because now they're saying that Shale Sonnen is going to fight the winner of Anderson Vitor Belfort. Which, hey man, might be great. But he might do better than Marquardt did last time, so probably will. Um, and moving on to the main event. Before these guys even started, they're saying that Mark Coleman is in the best physical, the best mental shape of his life. They're far from it. It's ridiculous, man. He looked, he looked like shit tonight, man. He should be right with Trigg, man. Right out the door. Sorry, man. You can't fight here anymore because you just we put you on a main event and you couldn't you couldn't do it. It was ridiculous. Couture completely had control the entire time. They hugged hugged you know and made out and stuff against the cage for a while and and uh, Couture was landing some good shots, good uppercuts too, man. You could see Coleman's head flinging back and his eyes crossing and whatnot. Like Pete's kicking him again in the face over and over. You know, and uh, Joe Rogan made this comment. You know, it's a whole other thing, man. UFC really really blew it up tonight. They really really blew it up. It made everybody tried to make everybody look bigger than they were, and, and I'm just, I'm honestly, I'm getting fucking sick of it, you know what I mean? I really am. I got a whole other list of shit I'm going to go down. Joe Rogan uh, went ahead and said, uh, oh, huge win for Matt, Matt Danzig over uh, Justin Buckles. Huge win? How is that a huge win? Well, it's a huge win, though. It's huge. But uh, one of the things he said was, if Matt Sarah retired today, he would be forever remembered in the history books of MMA. Be fucking serious. I, I don't even have to say anything else about that. I mean, you, you put that together. You know, any any MMA fight fan knows. Like I said, I don't need to say anything else. I'm going to move on. Trigg fell victim to uh, 
Matt Sarah's patented over right hand. Did you know that Matt Sarah had a patented over right hand? Yep, beefing things up a little more than they really are. Yeah, apparently tonight was Super Saturday. Like it's a fucking Walmart sale going on or something. Super Saturday. Arr. That was a Damien Mayap or Dan Miller fight. Scott, uh, Steve Mazzagani watched a guy get nailed in the face three, four times after he takes a nut shot. A huge nut shot. And then he's holding this fucking sack and looking at Mazzagati, and then, well, he's taking like four or five extra shots, and it's like, dude, what are you doing? So anyway, Mazzagati is the fucking dumbest referee there ever is. Guy get hit in the balls, you know, and he'll just let it go. Yeah, apparently, he's, apparently UFC's got UFC poker now. Who gives a fuck about poker if you're looking at MMA stuff? You try to drive more people to your page with poker? Why don't you just put porn on there or something, then? UFC porn. Pay-per-view. Yeah, Joe Rogan was promoting his own webpage. He said, when you go find it, it's not actually spelled like his name. Why would you have a webpage that spells your name wrong? The official Fart Around Award goes to Brian Stan. Brian Stan didn't do a damn thing in this fight. You know, which I feel for the guy, it kind of sucks. But you know what? So he sucked. Guy made his debut and beat the shit out of Brian Stan doing it, so. What's with the huge long names, too, when you call out uh, Couture? You know, you're... You're announcing Couture and you're announcing uh, Coleman before, before they come out, and you got like Master of Disaster, the the Blower of Blow Torches, the 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 John of the Outside Port of John. I mean, they just had every stinking name, 25 second names for these guys, like it's a fucking be all end all Rocky match. It's just ridiculous. You know, even Nate Marquardt losing tonight, I still think he would beat the shit out of Randy Couture. Just just my opinion. Joe Rogan said, Randy Couture is better every time we see him. Of course, he's gonna look better and better every time we see him. He's fighting lesser and lesser of opponents every time he's out. I mean, who's, who's he fighting next? It ain't going to be nobody special. It's not going to be a main event, because the other guy's not going to be able to hold a main, main event name. He's going to get fucking schooled by Machida. He ain't going to beat a Shogun. He's not going to beat anybody that's in the top ten. He's not going to. He's, well, he's considered in the top ten, I'm sure, because UFC is just continuously blowing him. But he, he's, he's not going to beat anybody in the top ten. That's pretty much it, though, man. I'm, I'm wrapping it up here. I'm tired of having to be quiet. I usually like to get loud with these, but uh, <laughs> but this one, like I guess, said, man, it's just some comments, it's just some stupid shit. I thought UFC's been doing lately. It's kind of pissing me off. Typical, trying to oversell something with their salesman or something. They're trying to really sell you something. It's just, it's just ridiculous, man. You know, they're trying to make you think that you know you're watching a Chevette drive by and they're trying to make you think it's a fucking Corvette. You know, it's, it's, I'm, I'm just kind of tired of it, man. To be honest with you, I really hope they they knock that shit off soon. But uh, anyway, man, thanks a lot, you guys. Uh, if you haven't subbed yet, please do. I'm normally a little more energetic, a little more into it, but tonight I couldn't because other people are here sleeping, so I don't want to wake anybody up. So anyway, man, thanks a lot. Make sure you comment. Take care, man.